in Snowdon. We've just arrived and uh, we're on our way up. Well, I am, he keeps stay, stop, I'm in with Andrew today as well. He's coming with me. We're gonna do a bit of landscape photography in Snowdonia for three or four days. And Andrew's first ever wild camp experience as well. And we've, uh, we've chose a really, really wet gray weekend for it as well. So it's gonna be quite difficult. We are hoping to climb that mountain and pitch the tent up there, but can't see anything. So there's no rush. <laughs> probably do that tomorrow instead uh, so now what we've just arrived at Clint Idwell well we haven't arrived there yet I'm just walking up to Clint Idwell um, we've just parked up by Ogwin which is just over there and we've got the awesome awesome Triffin Mountain just there as well so this is amazing I'm really 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 excited about being in Snowdonia I absolutely adore the place uh, yeah I get to spend a few few days here this time weather's not very good today so we're taking today as a recce um, so I'll split this vlog into three. So I'll have a vlog from today, which is Saturday, and then one for tomorrow and one for Monday. And we leave on Monday. So hopefully, hopefully we have a bit of nice weather as well. Because I've got some really awesome locations I want to visit and get some cool shots. And every time I come to Snowdonia, the day I leave is the day the weather gets amazing. So fingers crossed, I've got it long enough here this time to, to get some good good light and good locations. We're not going to get anywhere at this rate. There's so many, they found a stream on the run up to the water, to the, the lake. And uh, so like I've got my tripod balanced, the legs spread across that river there. I've never done that before, but it seems to work quite. Um, so I found this little waterfall. The river leads lovely up to the mountains over there. There's no contrast, no light, no, no nothing really. So just a quick snap on the way up. Um, we've only got an hour and a half to walk around this lake, so we really need to get cracking really. But I've just taken a quick snap, um, F11 focus stacked on the waterfall in the foreground. And then um, again on the mountains in the background. It looks really, really nice. It's difficult to get a bad shot here. It's such an amazing place. Made it to the lake, finally got here. Clint Idwell, one of my favorite lakes in Snowdonia. I absolutely adore this place. So I've got a, it's a composition I've taken a thousand times before, well, pretty much every time I've come to snow and I've tried to get this shot. And it's just using these lovely rocks in the foreground here um, as a foreground subject. It's got a bit of a waterfall here, which with the polarizer, you can kind of cut through the water there and see a bit more detail in the rocks. And I'm just focus stacking at F11 on these rocks here. Then again, on the background rocks and the mountains really nice to get that mist in there as well so fingers crossed I'll be able to it's flipping windy <laughs> expecting that camera to go over any minute now it's absolutely amazing though what a place if you've not been to Clint Inwell this is definitely oh you've got to go how did you stay up then right I'm gonna grab you before you fall over it's a really quick shot because the camera's getting sprayed to bits with the water oh, oh you I can't believe you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go Oh, I can't believe you didn't go. Good grief! What happened there? Whoa! What was that? Absolutely ridiculous! What? I've never seen the place like it. Absolutely and ridiculous wind that was. I'm going to hide behind this rock. Oh, breathe!
So we're just leaving Lynn End Well now. We've been here a bit longer than we should have done. We've actually got to go and try and find somewhere to pitch a tent. Hoping to find a nice low level. <laughs> Peter's just <laughs> falling over in the background. <laughs> um, um, hoping to find a nice low level campsite near uh, near facing the sun where the sun arrives tomorrow in the morning. Um, so yeah, we've got about 45 minutes left of daylight. So we better get a move on. just pulled in where we were hoping to camp which is this is the name of the lake <laughs> I've just left the sign I can't remember it already and we've got a tiny bit of colour in the sky and uh, we're going to try and find a foreground very quickly I mean this is where I was hoping to camp so we've got to be here anyway but we've just literally abandoned the car and I'm just going to run around and see if I can find somewhere so I can stick the tripod down stupidly windy still though so don't think camping here is quite a good idea but um, let's try and find the foreground now. And it'd be awesome if some of the light comes through. Starting to get a bit of colour in the sky there. Not epic, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's something. So let me get set up quick. managed to get a few shots with the colour in. Uh, I couldn't really find, at such short notice, a foreground that I particularly liked. So while I'm happy I've had some colour come in the sky, uh, it's actually really pretty. Um, I, I'm not happy with my foreground, so I'm going to grab the camera and set up again over here. managed to get a uh, really 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 cool tent spot actually it's uh, nestled in some woods just to the left of the um, the lake that we were just photographing um, I'm having to film on the GoPro now because it looks like my Canon uh, little video camera has just died on me which I'm really quite upset about uh, so I hope that take the battery out of that I hope that's going to be okay um, by the morning um, so we've got the it's horrifically windy outside so Andrew's pitched up just next to me now so we're in the trees have saved us and we can hear the wind in the background it's it's unbelievably windy out there um so we've decided we've got the tent up it's still early i don't know no time it's probably about six o'clock half for six um so the car is not far the car's like a five minute walk so we've decided to go and find a pub <laughs> uh yeah when all else fails it was his idea <laughs> best suggestion he's had all day and then soon, as soon as he's planted the seed all I can think about is going for a pint. <laughs> so I was, I did come, I did come back and get me, me jet boil and everything just to sit here and have a coffee and chill out and have a laugh like, but uh, yeah, now let's go and find a pub. Mm -hmm. 